<laughs> Banana proof, man. Ionic thrust is quickly emerging as a viable form of propulsion. I started with a rough prototype I called the BSI thruster. Improving from that platform was the Mark II, which moved four times the volume of air at just under four meters a second. Both of these thrusters used a sequential design, meaning the same column of air was electrified and accelerated over and over. During a hike one day, nature roundhoused me in the face with a solid reminder. Leaves use convergence with their veins and are optimized to accumulate sugar into one central flow. Perhaps ionic thrust could benefit from a purely convergent approach. Seemed simple enough in theory. After a six week rabbit hole of designing, building, <sighs> testing, modifying, and 3D printing, plus a shocking amount of bean water, I stumbled across an entirely new type of ionic thruster, one which is hollow and relies on peripheral acceleration. Two meters out and... Oh, <laughs> that's sick. Just a splash <laughs> for science. <laughs> Look how focused the output is.